In this video we will show you how to design a full anatomical crown on a trio scan. To start your design, you need to open your unprepared trios case from Dental Manager. When the case opens, you are at the stage called prepare. This stage can be skipped if preparation is not necessary by going straight to the margin line step in the workflow bar. You can also change settings in control panel so that the prepare step is skipped by default. Optionally, you can do the same to skip the interface step later on. Drill compensation and cement gap will be still applied automatically. When you go through the prepare steps, Dental Designer skips automatically the Align to Bite step because it is usually done by the dentist. This step is required if the loaded scans have not been properly aligned. Now you are at the stage where you can trim upper and lower jaw scans. This saves time and material if you are intended to produce models. Place the spline for preparation scan first and then for the antagonist scan after pressing next. The show opposite jaw profile option allows you to trim your scan to the same size. Click next to proceed. The occlusal alignment step allows you to set an occlusal plane by moving and rotating it. Once set, accept it by clicking Next and start adjusting the occlusion. To do so, move or rotate the antagonist model if necessary. Use control points or click the Optimize button to correct the occlusion automatically. This functionality is particularly useful if patient did not bite properly while bite scan was made. Pressing Next takes you to the optional steps Sculpt Lower Jaw. And later on Sculpt Upper Jaw where you can use the Sculpt Toolkit to modify scans which is optional. Once finished click Next to proceed to setting the margin line. Start setting the margin line by clicking the top of the tooth to automatically draw a cutout line that can be adjusted later from outside or inside of the scan. You can use different color options to help with margin line setting. When done, click Next to set the insertion direction. Use blue arrows to set the insertion direction manually from the view. Or press Optimize to set it automatically. Now click Next to go to the interface step to section the tooth and modify margin line if needed. Once your tooth is sectioned and the margin line is set, press Next to get to die interface. Click Preview to see die interface visualization and switch on Expert mode if you want to change any interface settings. Now. Click Next to proceed to the Anatomy Design step, where Dental Designer automatically places a crown. Smile Composer allows you to specify the smile library to shape your crown. Using Design Tools, you can do all necessary adjustments to your design.
Click next to go to Sculpt and use the Sculpt Toolkit. The Sculpt Toolkit allows you to individually modify design using tools like Global Transformation, Morphing and Wax Knife. Once your design is ready, click on Next. Software goes to Ready to Build Model stage. Now you have opportunity to go to Model Building stage or to save design for later. And that's it. Thank you for watching.